Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and today I'm going to show you how to work in principle with animated illustrations made in After Effects. So let's begin. Before we begin, let me explain you a little bit about the flow. So currently principle doesn't accept JSON files, which means it doesn't accept load animations. So in our case, if we have a load animation made in After Effects, what we need to do is to use the original After Effects file and then export it to MP4. Then we can use this MP4 on principle. There is one catch. If your animated illustration is using an alpha, make sure to add a color background with the same color background that you are using in your prototype. Now let's open our After Effects file. The first thing we need to do is to create a new layer that we will use as a background for our animated illustration. So let's click on the rectangle tool and let's draw a rectangle. Then we can change its color clicking on fill. I will paste the same color that I'm using as a background in my prototype in principle. Okay, let's move the background to the bottom, just right here. Let's watch the animation to see how it looks. Yeah, it's looking really good. Now let's export the animation. Let's go to file, then export, and then choose add to Adobe media encoder Q. Okay, perfect. Now in media encoder, Let's export our animated illustration to H264. To do so, let's click on the play icon. Let's wait for a while. And there you go. Okay, nice. Now, let's press command space so we can open a spotlight. And let's type principle. And let's hit enter. Once in principle, we need to import our video. So let's go to the folder. And from there, let's look for person.mp4. Then, we can drag our mp4 to our artboard. Okay, perfect. Now let's create a rectangle, so we can use it as the background to the artboard. Let's click on insert, and let's choose rectangle. Then we can draw a rectangle in the artboard. Now let's move the layer of the background underneath the video. And let's click on fill to change the color of the background. Then I will select the color picker, and I will choose the same color that we are using in the background of our video. Now let's see how it looks. So let's click on show preview. And yeah, it's looking really good. And maybe we can add some fading into the video. So let's go to artboard and let's duplicate the artboard. So command C, command V. Then make sure you're selecting the first artboard. And on actions, let's choose auto. Then you can drop the arrow in the second artboard. From the first artboard, let's select the video. Let's change its opacity from 100% to zero. Now we can increase the timing of the opacity and we can give it one second and we just can move this a little bit to the right so we can have a small delay on the animation okay nice now let's select the first artboard and let's click on show preview and let's see how it looks yeah it looks really good now probably we can add some small detail we can make that the animation can have a floating effect to do so let's choose the video from artboard number two let's go to action and select auto and let's drop the arrow in the same artboard like that we will duplicate the artboard number two then in the new artboard we just can move a little bit up the video and then we can go to their action and select auto and then drag the arrow to artboard number two let's click on show preview this is looking really good so this is the end of the video if you guys like it please give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and if you have any comments or questions, you can put it on the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Bye.